Hey there, students. On this clip, we're going to be going over two examples on double angle identities. So let's go ahead and write down the example for the notes. Uh, so use use the given information the given information to find. We're going to be looking for three uh, trig functions to find sine 2 theta, cosine 2 theta, and tan 2 theta. Okay? All right. So question number one, we're going to be looking at uh, sine theta equals 2 over 5, and theta is between and uh, pi over 2 is less than theta, and theta is less than pi. Okay? So this is the situation right here. All right, so let's go ahead and look for the first piece, which is uh, sine 2 theta. Uh, let's call that A. So sine 2 theta, using your double angle identities, you find out that sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay? So in order to find sine 2 theta, we need sine theta and cosine theta. And you notice we're given sine 2 theta, so how can we find cosine from sine? By using a version of the Pythagorean identities, which uh, states that cosine theta equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, This is a version of this Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. If we solve this for cosine theta, this is the identity that we'll get, and this can help me solve for cosine given sine. All right, so let's go ahead and look for our cosine. So um, we're going to have let's write out the formula again: cosine theta equals plus or minus the square root of one minus sine squared theta. So what is the value of sine squared theta? Sine squared theta is two over five. So let's substitute that in here. So that's going to give us plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 2 over 5 squared, okay? Now, using the properties of exponents, we're going to expand that 2 over 5 squared. So we have 1 minus, when you square 2 over 5, we have 4 over 25, okay? Now, let's express this one as a fraction, 1 over 1. To find the LCD, we'll multiply this 1 by 25 top and bottom so that the denominator is matched. So we'll get two, uh, plus or minus the square root of 25 over 25 minus 4 over 25, okay? And that yields plus or minus the square root of 21 over 25. And then we can uh, divide the square roots to the top and bottom. So let's do that down here. So we're going to have plus or minus root 21 over root 25. And that will give me plus or minus root 21 over 5, okay? So the question is, is cosine theta positive or negative? To answer that question, we have to look at the, the quadrants that theta is restricted to. Theta is between pi over 2 and pi. So what is the sign of cosine in that quadrant? That's the question. So to answer that, all we're going to do is we're going to draw our coordinate system. So um, there goes your y-axis and there goes your x-axis. And uh, this is 0. Since it's positive angles, we're going to be going count, uh, counterclockwise. So 0, this is pi over 2, and this is pi. Now, since theta is between pi over 2 and pi, this is the angle under consideration right here, this angle. Okay? So we know that all students take calculus so i know that in this quadrant sine is what sine is positive right sine is positive sine is positive uh so also it's a reciprocal function which is cosecant only sine and cosecant are positive here that means that cosine which is what we're looking for cosine is what cosine is negative in this quadrant all right, cosine is only positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 because this is A for all and C for cosine, all right? So for this problem, cosine theta is going to be negative root 21 over 5, okay? Now we have cosine and we're given sine before. 
from the original problem, we're told that sine theta is equal to 2 over 5. Now what we're going to do is combine the input these two into the formula, sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta, okay? All right, let's go ahead and make the substitution. That's going to yield 2. Sine theta is 2 over 5. And then cosine theta is negative root 21 over 5, okay? Now we'll multiply across. We'll have negative 4 root 21 over multiply the denominators. You can put this over 1 if you want, over 25. So there goes uh, sine 2 theta. All right, now let's look for cosine 2 theta. For cosine 2 theta, we have a lot of options, okay? Uh, the, the formulas that we have are, uh, we have cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, which is also the same thing as 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, which is also the same thing as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So we can pick any of these formulas to work with, okay? So, but which is the smartest one to work, to select? How about we pick the fo formula that is dependent on just a question, okay? How about we pick the formula that has just a question in it? So in the question, we had only sine, right? We know for sure that sine is 2 over 5. This cosine we found, we hope is correct, but we never know. But if it's wrong, then our answer will affect this one right here. So I like to pick the one that's dependent on just a question, if at all possible, so that um, if I made an error in the other problem, it doesn't affect my second solution, okay? So the optimal so option to pick here is the one that has just sign. So I'm going to pick use this formula right here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and use that, using that formula, cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. I'm going to have uh, 1 minus 2 times uh, 2 over 5 quantity square, all right? That becomes 1 minus 2 times 4 over 25, which equals 1 minus 8 over 25. Okay, write it as a fraction. To make them have the same LCD, I multiply this by 25 top and bottom. So I'm going to have uh, 25 over 25 minus 8 over 25. And when I subtract the numerator, they'll have 17 over 25. So there goes cosine 2 theta. All right. Next thing I need is uh, tan, tan 2 theta. Tan 2 theta. We have two options to use. All right, the first one is uh, 2 tan, tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. Or we can use tan, uh, I'm sorry, we can use um, the quotient identities, which is uh, sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta. Okay? Since I already have sine 2 theta and cosine 2 theta, I can just simply divide my two other answers. Uh, that will give me uh, what tan 2 theta is. So I'm going to use this one right here, cosine 2 theta, and uh, the, the other tan 2 theta that we got over there. Just simply divide them, and that will be my answer. Okay, remember, this is not, don't do this, this is not equal to sine theta over cosine theta, okay? you must use the ones with the two thetas in them. We have four trig functions here. We have sine theta, uh, sine two theta, and we also have cosine theta and cosine two theta. So don't use these ones for this formula. You have to use the answers we got, which is the two thetas, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and apply that here. I'm gonna just input my, my uh, results that I got, sine two theta, is negative 4 root 21 over 25. That's divided by cosine 2 theta, which is 17 over 25. I'm writing this horizontally because I have two fractions. I don't want to write it vertically because it looks messy. So I'm going to multiply the first by the reciprocal of the second, drop change flip. So I'll have negative 4 root 21 over 25 times 25 over 17. Okay, all right, so uh, the 25 is divided out, and you're left with your final answer, which is negative 4 root 21 
over 17. Okay, so there goes our three answers. So let's put them together in an organized list. Sine 2 theta is negative 4 roots 21 over 25. Cosine 2 theta is 17 over 25. And then tan 2 theta is negative 4 root 21 over 17. All right. So uh, there, there you have it. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our question. So for question two, we have tan uh, theta equals 4 over 3. And... Uh, we have pi is less than theta, and theta is less than 3 pi over 2, okay? All right, so we need to, first of all, let's go ahead and look for uh, sine 2 theta, okay? So for sine 2 theta, the formula for double angle identities for sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta, okay? So we can see here that we need sine and cosine, but we're just provided with tan. Um, so in order to, there isn't any direct formula to go from tan to sine. So the quickest way to do this is to graph this angle and then use uh, Sokatoa to finish it up, okay? So um, we know that uh, tan, tan theta is equal to 4 over 3. And then if you think about Sokatoa, what does that tell us? So... Uh, well, what does Sokatoa tell us? Uh, Sokatoa tells us that tan is opposite of adjacent. So this numerator here is the opposite, and this denominator here is the adjacent of what? Well, the right triangle uh, in standard position that resides in this quadrant right here. So let's go ahead and draw it. I'm going to draw a sketch the terminal side first. Where does the terminal side reside is the first question we have to consider. Um, so let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, so the terminal side resides between pi and 3 pi over 2, so we have to consider that so we don't get our signs wrong. So we have 0 pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. So the terminal side is going to reside in this area right here, okay? And I'm going to draw in a right triangle. You have to draw the ref you have to be a reference angle, and we know the reference angles for theta always starts from the uh, starts from the x-axis. Okay, so that's the that's the terminal side of the triangle, and this is theta. Okay, so this is theta. That means this is going to be my opposite right here, and then this is going to be this is a 90 degree angle, which makes the opposite side is my hypotenuse. And this side right here is my adjacent, okay? All right, notice that for this angle, we're going to the left, so the x is negative, and we're going down, which makes the y negative also. So let's uh, put in the measure that we have. We know that the opposite is 4 units, so this side right here is going to be negative 4, since we're going down 4 units. This, the adjacent, is 3, since we're going back, it's going to be negative 3, okay? So adjacent is negative 3. Now, in order to find sine, sine theta is going to be the opposite of a hypotenuse, right? So, if I wanted to look for sine theta, it's going to be from so, opposite of a hypotenuse. But wait a minute. We know the opposite is negative 4. What is the hypotenuse? We do not know. Can we find it? Absolutely. We can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? So, let's use a three, the trig variation of the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what h is. The legs A, B are A and O, and the hypotenuse C, uh, C is the hypotenuse. So I know that A square plus O square, that's A square plus Z square equals C square, which is a hypotenuse square. What we're looking for is a hypotenuse. Adjacent is negative 3, negative 3 square, plus the opposite is negative 4, square equals H square. All right, 3 square is 9, plus 4 square is 16, equals H square. So h squared equals 9 plus 16, which is 25. You take the square root of both sides, and then you have uh, h equals 5, okay? h equals 5. So that's a hypotenuse, all right? So 
Now we know that uh, this hypotenuse right here is five units long. So sine from so is opposite, which is negative four, over the hypotenuse, which is five. So sine theta is negative four over five. How about cosine theta? Cosine theta from ka is adjacent over what? Over the hypotenuse, right? The adjacent is negative three and the hypotenuse is five. Okay, so now we have the two ingredients we need to create sine two theta, so let's go ahead and use them. So we're going to have um, sine two theta equals two sine theta cosine theta. Let's write it again so we don't get confused. So I'm going to make the substitution here. So 2 sine theta is negative 4 over 5. And then cosine theta is negative 3 over 5. Okay. Express this as a fraction. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. That's how I multiply fractions. Uh, we're going to have 2 times 4 is uh, 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus times minus is plus. So we have 24 over 5 times 5, which is 25. So there goes sine 2 theta. All right, let's use uh, cosine 2 theta. We can use any formula that we want here. I'm going to use, uh, how about we use cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, if I do that, I'm going to have cosine squared theta will be negative 3 over, over 5 squared minus sine squared theta will be uh, negative 4 over 5 squared. Okay. Simplifying that, we're going to get um, 9 over 25 minus 16 over 25. When you subtract the 2, you have negative 7 over 25, and that's the value for cosine theta. How about tan 2, two theta? For tan 2 theta, I'm going to use the quotient identities for tan sine 2 theta divided by cosine 2 theta. Okay? So, uh, cosine sine 2 theta is 24 over 25. I'm going to write this horizontally so it's easy to compute. Uh, divided by negative 7 over 25. All right. I'm going to drop change, flip, drop this down, 24 over 25, change the times. And I'm going to reciprocate this, negative 25 over 7. Remember, reciprocation does not alter the sign, okay? The minus stays there. All right, the 25s divide out. 1. And you multiply across, and your final answer for tan 2 theta is negative 24 over 7. All right, so these are answers in an organized fashion. Uh, sine 2 theta is um, 24 over 25. Cosine 2 theta is negative 7 over 25. And tan 2 theta is negative 24 over 7. All right? So there goes your answers. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And if you like the video, you can click like. More videos can be found on mattgoodstrap.com. And please post a comment. Let me know what you think about this clip, okay? Thanks and have a wonderful day.